Moving on. We have to. We have to. We have to. We must. We must. We must talk about Supreme and Margiela. Supreme have collaborated with Maison Margiela's um, streetwear subsidiary sub-label, which I'm a big fan of, called MM6. I'm sure most of you guys that are into clothes and shit will know what MM6 is. It's basically the more... Um, easily accessible version of Mason and Margiela in terms of like t-shirts, jeans, hoodies, trainers, all that malarkey. In a very unexpected turn, Supreme has collaborated with Maison Martin Margiela under the label of MM6. This is one of the reasons why this and the fucking Shanghai store opening, this is one of the reasons why I've always said, I think of all the companies out there, because I'm, I'm very staunchly independent and want to be entrepreneurial and whatever it may be. But if I did have to work a job, and had to kind of pursue a career. The two companies I'd want to work for. Supreme. And WeWork. I don't. I'm not lying. WeWork. And then Adam Newman. Allegedly because Adam Newman. The former fucking founder. The founder sorry. Of um, of uh, WeWork. And the former owner. Who was in broad. And all that controversy. Because he fucking spunked up a lot of money. And ended up fucking failing WeWork. He's coming back and buying it again. If I had to work for two companies. The two companies would be. Supreme and WeWork. And this would be it. Because imagine being a part of putting this project together. Imagine being a part of putting this collaboration together. Imagine knowing this is happening. You know, imagine ha having an insight into all the designs that didn't make it and shit. Imagine how amazing it would be to just see all this stuff like come to fruition. It'd be fucking incredible. I fucking love it. So big up Supreme, big up MM6. It says here, MM6 is part of Martin Margiela, um, a luxury fashion house founded in Belgium by designer Martin Margiela in 1988. In 1997, MM6 Maison Margiela was established as a relaxed line to complement the Maison avant-garde destructive designs. MM6 has since evolved as a brand that encompasses wide-ranging everyday offerings with subtle and submersive twists anchored in Margiela's design philosophy. In an era defined by extravagant opulence, um, Maison Margiela uh, challenge expectations by presenting deconstructed tailoring and often employing recycled or humbled materials. Following the founder's spirit of anonymity, MM6 re remains designed by a collective, directing focus back to the garments and the ideas and the shape of them. Margiela's submersive, uh, sub sorry, su subversive practices have since become widely adopted as generations of designs continues to look to collective as a touch point of the integrity of innovation. Thinking about it though, haven't Supreme also done the same thing? Especially post Tremaine Emery being creative director. They haven't announced a new creative director. It almost feels like they do design by committee, by collective. There's no real one person you can kind of say, oh, he designed this, she designed that. It's all kind of underneath the umbrella of Supreme. Maybe they're kind of doing the same sort of thing. Maybe there's a lot more correlations between Supreme and Margiela than I initially thought. Supreme has worked with MM6 Margiela on a new collection for spring 2024, available tomorrow and also available in asia on march 30th let's look at some of the pieces this fucking fur coat oh my god allegedly there's only 100 or so made allegedly there's a hundred of these made there's a let there's a hundred of these re there's a hundred of this reconstructed um fur trench coat i want would you call it a trench coat I'm not sure if I'd call it a trench coat, actually. It's a little bit shorter than a trench coat. It comes just over the... It just comes just above the knees. But it's fucking amazing. It's all this pat, faux fur that's almost been patchwork put together. Fucking beautiful, 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 beautiful fur. And he's also wearing it with the reimagined Jordan 4s. He looks absolutely banging. So big up the model, right? And there he goes again with the hood on as well, walking down the street. Look at how good that looks. I think that's Paris, right? Walking down the Parisian streets wearing it. There's a full suit. There's a full suit with a vest, with a waistcoat included as well in the white, in the classic kind of suit. Oh my God, look at the hat. Wow, look at the hat. There's a camp cat that's been painted white. You know the classic kind of Margiela paint, right? We just kind of dip it in white and you cover it in white and there's you can just about see the box logo peering underneath the white paint. Wow. Can you imagine what that's going to look like if it's actually painted white and you break it in and it starts to crackle and whatever and crease all over the place? Fuck! It's going to look so good. Let's continue. you got the white suit there with a white vest underneath and a camp cat. You've also got a suit in grey here that one of the models is wearing. Lovely cut of the suit 
with the look at the logo. It's got the Margiela logo here on the sleeve, and a, and another Supreme logo on the underneath Tono logos. And I'm assuming it's got the the darts, the four white darts at the back of the suit as well. Maybe that'd be fucking cool. Look at the logo. Look at the logo on the sleeve, man. Embroidered too. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Love it. That looks so fucking good. There's also a waist jacket here. You see. Oh, the varsity jacket. Oh my god. The reconstructed varsity jacket. I think that's like four varsities in one or maybe two. The reconstructed varsity jacket. They've taken what needles were doing, right? Needles were doing those. Remember those needles, uh, flannels that everyone was wearing for a while? Um, the reconstructed flannels. They've taken that same approach with reconstructed flannels and they've applied it to the fucking varsity jacket. Wow. Wow, man, that looks so cool. So you've got different, you got, yeah, so you've got, no, it's, I think it's three varsity jackets. You've got one varsity jacket here on the, on the left with the green body and a yellow sleeve. One varsity jacket here with the maroon body and maroon sleeves. And you've got the other um, navy one here in the middle. Look at that, a reconstructed varsity jacket. That looks so fucking cool. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at how good that looks. FTP, fuck the police on the side there. God damn, I'd fucking... I'd wear the fuck out of that. I'd wear the fuck out of it, I swear to God. Oh, look at the hoodie as well. There's a great hoodie with this... I don't know what the effect... It's like a crinkled effect. Almost similar with the paint. I'm not sure if that's been painted on. Or if that's just a pattern on the actual jacket. That's really cool. Um, With the hood as well on it. It almost, it almost looks like a Carhartt-type-esque jacket or style. Especially with the double knee pants. That looks absolutely beautiful. It also comes in the black and that silver... There's a t-shirt with the uh, skulls and they're all on fire there. Also, that's like a pretty cool design too. Oh, look at that overshirt. Wow. There's like a baggy overshirt thing as well. That looks incredible. I love the look of that. I'm all over that. You know I love a good little baggy overshirt to wear. That looks fucking tough. I love the look of that. Some shorts as well that the model's wearing. The overshirt also comes in a pinstripe um, design. It kind of reminds me of the of the Balenciaga overshirt that I had in blue with the pockets on the side and shit that I unfortunately lost at a party. Absolute idiot. Um, there's also a hoodie here with the oh look at this look at the box logo. The box logo is fucking gorgeous. It's a hoodie that almost looks like it's been covered in again paint, cracked or dried out or maybe it's an ink material. I'm not really too sure. And the logo is also tonal. The box logo logo, logo is tonal. And it's also got a box logo reverse design on the back. That hoodie is fucking brilliant. The box logo. So we got a Margiela Supreme box logo. Oh my God. We've also got a bike lock. We've got a kryptonite bike. Is that a kryptonite bike lock? We've got a, we've got a Margiela Supreme kryptonite bike lock. Fuck, bro. I remember I used to wear these all the time when I used to cycle. When I used to cycle on my 26-inch BMX, my charge stove, I used to have this wrapped around my waist all the time. This is part of my little swag back in the day. But I, but I, I don't have my, my, my rope chain anymore, unfortunately. But fuck, bro. Look how good this shit looks. Good jeans, good hoodie. you got a box logo t-shirt by Margiela also and Supreme. We've got like a t-shirt design printed on top of the t-shirt. That looks pretty cool. I love that look. That kind of reminds me of some old Margiela pieces as well that's got the similar design. I'm sure that's what it's been referencing. God damn, that looks good. And there's also a vest. Oh, look, there's a double vest included too. A double vest. So there's a Haynes vest included that's got like a, a vest on the inside too. So you've got like a double vest design going on there. I love the look of that. And there's also selling a wig. Oh, lovely. I love this. There's also a, there's also a wig included in the collaboration. A blonde wig. Obviously, in the back lock there, there's a skate deck with the painted um, uh, motif on it. But yeah, this patchwork, um, the patchwork fur jacket is definitely one of my favorites in the in the collection. I'd 100% wear the fuck out of this. You've got um, this kind of, you know, I guess you'd call it a trench coat or an overcoat, I'm imagining. You'd call it um, faux fur. It kind of comes just above the knees. You've got the nice logo here on the inside. Nice Margiela and Supreme logo, double logo there, a nice silver chain. Fucking hell. Lovely, lovely fucking patchwork. And again, like I said, I heard allegedly there's only a hundred of these made. There's a white suit also included. A wash cotton suit in white and in navy. There's also a wash cotton vest as well. There's also the patchwork. Oh, sorry, the split varsity jacket, not patchwork, split varsity jacket. 
There's a what's it called? A foil? Is it foil? Okay, foil material hoodie. That looks fucking incredible. Love the look of this. Oh, and I'm and I'm not usually I'm not gonna lie, yeah. I've got a controversial opinion. I don't usually like these type of jackets with the elasticated bottom with a hood. It's like bomb like I like my bomber jackets to not have hoods on them. I want them just to have, to have a regular collar. If you if, if you give me an elasticated waist, don't give me a hood. It's like do you know those parkers that people wear? The Canada the Gooses that are like short, they're cropped. I hate those jackets. I think that style is fucking horrendous. They kind of look like the Jordan One, Jordan One lows of jackets. If you have a jacket, either it's long with a hood or it's short with no hood. I don't like fucking, you know what I mean? I I, I never like this tester. I don't know. Something about this jacket, I'm not really the style. I don't know. It's it's a, it's, a, it's a weird thing in my brain. But this looks pretty decent itself. Um, in black, it looks really nice as well. You got it there. You got some nice pants as well here featured. Of In white as well. Double, double knee pants. I got to be honest. I'm also over. I'm over double knee pants. I'm not going to lie. I'm fucking over double knee pants. I'm over, over, over double knee pants. I think they've been overdone. And um, yeah, I will not be wearing these. The overshirt. Oh, ho, ho. the padded overshirt. Look at that. That is gorgeous, bro. Nice boxy shape. Pinstripes. Purple and red. That's fucking beautiful. I'd wear the fuck out of that shit. It also comes in black. And it also comes in white. Yeah, that that's that's one of the better pieces in there. That overshirt is fucking that that's brilliant. There's also a Supreme a zip up hooded hooded sweatshirt, which is quite cool because this is one of the only pieces that says Margiela on it. It's got Margiela six, Paris six. That's pretty sick. And Supreme nine ninety four. So I think this will be very popular too because this is one of the only pieces that actually says Margiela. So a lot of people will actually buy this just because of the Margiela on the front. So that's that's pretty cool. Especially when you think about Margiela 6 as in like the Antwerp 6. I love that little twist on there. Um, continuing on. We've also got a box logo hoodie design. That's fucking cool. Which is also a foil um, design. I would prefer actually it in the white. I don't really like the black. The black design isn't that great to me. I actually prefer it in white personally. Um, the shorts. Oh, there's actually a padded shorts as well. I love the padded shorts. Similar with the padded shirt. Okay, cool. There's a shorts that come with a padded shirt. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. There's a flame. What's that? Liquid. What's it called? Liquid blue oversized tee with the with the skulls on fire. Not too shabby. But this is probably the best. One of the best pieces in there. This uh, box logo t-shirt that's also got a t-shirt printed on top of it. Like, that's fucking cool. I'm not going to lie. That's a fucking cool t-shirt. That's something that you'll probably hang on your wall. And I'm not somebody that likes to hang fucking streetwear on the wall and make streetwear into art. But that is something that I'd happily frame. That's fucking cool. That's really fucking cool. I really love that uh, box logo t-shirt in white. That looks amazing. And then there's also the Hanes uh, uh, tank top that comes with the tank top attached on the, on the inside. And what else do we have here? We have some... Oh, there's socks as well. There's socks. Wow. These are going to be really popular too. There's Margiela Supreme socks. These are going to be really popular. People are going to be crazy over these. Yeah, those are going to be really popular. Uh, we were, and and oh, the Camp Cat. I'm sorry. The Camp Cat is genius. Whoever did that is genius. The painted Camp Cat is genius because once that breaks, once that crackles, once you get some sweat stains in it and it starts to break up, this, this, oh, it's going to look fucking cool. This when the like when the box logo kind of you know peers through a bit, this is gonna look really cool. This painted camp cat is such a cool idea. I love that. I fucking love that. And obviously it's got a leather strap at the back as well. Nice leather strap buckle, nice little detail there. Switch up from the usual camp cats. I love the look of that. And it also comes in black as well. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my god. Look at that. They've got a receipt wallet. That is so cool. Supreme NY, they've got a faux receipt wallet. So it looks like a receipt, but I'm assuming it's probably made out of leather or something. And it's made to look like a receipt and it's printed all the items on there. I'm assuming from the collection. And it's got a little rope that kind of ties it together. That is so cool. Wow, I love the look of that. That is so cool. That's also going to sell out pretty quickly. And obviously they've got Kryptonite. And but look at that. Kryptonite, Margiela, Supreme, Bike Lock or Chain. Look at that, man. That is so fucking cool. I love the look of that also. And we've also got a wig. 
Love that wig. Love that fucking wig. Love that fucking wig. I definitely wear that. And we've also got the painted deck as well. I think the deck is fucking awesome. Love the look of that. Hoping it comes smack. Hoping it comes scratched up, but I'm assuming it doesn't. Maybe it's just like paint. Maybe it's just like covered. Maybe it's just painted over a red regular Supreme deck. And then when you ride it yourself and you kind of grind all over it and shit, you have all these nice scratches and shit that will lev leap the let let the Supreme logo kind of peer through at the bottom, which is quite cool. To be honest, you could do it yourself. Just buy a regular Supreme deck and paint underneath it, I'm assuming. I'm assuming you could do that with any deck as well. That'd be quite a cool little thing to do if you skate often. Just get any skate deck and just paint it with some regular acrylic paint underneath um, and obviously let it dry. And then when you go out and you're doing your fucking, you know, your little slappies everywhere, it's going to be able to um, allow the, the kind of design to kind of peer through underneath there. I fucking love that. Yeah, but yeah, Supreme Margiela collection available tomorrow. Uh, most of you are aware of that. So check it out if you're that way inclined. Absolutely banging. Absolutely banging. I'd wear every single piece of that blood clout shit. Okay? Every single piece. 